For more than 180 years, Michiganders have answered the call to defend our state and nation. To honor their military service, a series of publicly accessible monuments are located on the grounds of the state capitol in Lansing. From the Civil War to Vietnam, these markers commemorate Michigan's role in past military conflicts. These are the monuments and memorials on the Capitol Complex. Overlooking the city, in front of the Capitol's east entrance, stands the statue of Austin Blair, Michigan's Civil War governor. Blair served as governor from 1861 to 64, dedicating the best years of his life to Michigan. Flanking the walkway that leads to the Capitol's front entrance are replicas of two Civil War cannons deployed by the state's famed Loomis Battery. In August of 2015, these were placed in the spot where the originals once stood after the Civil War. The originals are believed to have been lost to a scrap metal drive and melted down for use during World War II. Along the south lawn of the Capitol stands the Rock of the Grand Army of the Republic. Dedicated in 1924, the memorial stands in honor of the organization that actively served the needs of Civil War veterans. Located inside the Capitol, on the first floor of the rotunda, is a collection of replica battle flags representing regiments from the Civil War. The originals are kept safe in a temperature and humidity controlled room at the Michigan History Center. The monument located on the Northeast Lawn honors the 1st Regiment of Michigan Engineers who were instrumental in building bridges, roads, and communication lines during the Civil War. The granite structure, which displays the names of the unit's members on its sides, was in part paid for by the surviving members of the regiment. The 1st Michigan Sharpshooters Volunteer Regiment Monument is another one dedicated to Civil War veterans, located on the southeast corner of the Capitol grounds. It is one of the Capitol's most iconic monuments. The Sharpshooters included a company of Native Americans among its ranks of recruits, and is recognized as the first to have entered Petersburg during the siege, and first to run up the flag to signify that battle's end. Located nearby is the Hiker Memorial. This monument honors the veterans of the Spanish-American War, the Philippine Insurrection, and the China Relief Expedition. This bronze statue by Theo Alice Ruggles Kitson is one of more than 50 copies located throughout the country and was placed on the Capitol grounds in 1946. The last stop on the Capitol grounds themselves is the Michigan Veterans Memorial, which was one of the first multi-war memorials in the nation. This memorial recognizes the contributions and sacrifices of more than 1.3 million Michigan men and women that served in World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Located several blocks away, in front of the Michigan Hall of Justice, is the Michigan Vietnam Memorial Monument. This monument honors the people from Michigan that served in the Vietnam War and contains the names of Michigan residents who lost their lives. Also located on the site is a memorial dedicated to the recipients of the Purple Heart, the nation's oldest military decoration given to veterans wounded in combat. This concludes our tour of the monuments and memorials on the Capitol Complex. It is important to remember the contributions Michiganders have made and their willingness to answer the call to defend our state and nation.